Hey guys, this is Dr. Kelsey, and this is little Becky here, a super cute little Cavapoo puppy. We're going to talk about an issue that they can get, which is pancreatitis. Pancreatitis. Have you ever heard of that? Have you ever known a family member or friend, a person that has had pancreatitis? Well, they can tell you for sure that it is a painful disease process that you do not want to go through, and you don't want to have your dog go through. So let's talk about it real quick. I'd say um, with pancreatitis, a lot of times what we see in here is that a client has either allowed their dog or actually given their dog something that could set off pancreatitis, meaning like a fatty food or bacon or ice cream or licking up the plate um, of, a, of, their, of their meal. So stuff especially that's greasy, fatty, um, you really just need to avoid completely, okay? So pancreatitis generally is set off by their having them having eaten something they shouldn't and they kind of pay the piper for it. The pancreas literally, it, you know, it does two main things. It produces insulin, right? And it does create uh, digestive enzymes. And so those digestive enzymes literally will leak out into the pancreas itself. Instead of going down its little tube, tube it actually leaks out in the pancreas and the pancreas gets super inflamed the tissue around it, the, the small intestine, even the liver can get really inflamed and gallbladder. So it can be a very serious, life-threatening issue. We've actually had several cases here lately. Um, you want to watch the dumpster divers. I forgot to mention that one. Those dogs that eat the garbage or eat out of the garbage can, you got to be real careful with that. Okay, so pancreatitis is very serious. They have vomit. Some of the signs are vomiting, diarrhea, not eating. They may be hunched up because their tummy hurts. These are real painful. Again, if you've had a, a family member a friend that's had it, I mean, it's a super painful disease uh, process to go through. So when we palpate their abdomen, they can be real tender. Generally, we take blood work we, or we run blood work um, and we also take x-rays. Sometimes we'll ultrasound the pancreas. So there's a lot of tests to, to try to identify if it's pancreatitis or not. There's no shot or cure for it either. There, um, you basically have to treat the symptoms. We treat them with fluids to rehydrate them. Um, pain medication is really big, nausea medication, medication for diarrhea. Um, and this can go on honestly for days and sometimes even up to weeks. The other thing is too, a dog that has had pancreatitis before, potentially and possibly could get it in the future. You know, it could be three months or three years, but a dog that has had it once can, it has a little bit more tendency to get it again. So you guys just be real careful. It's Thanksgiving, it's right around the corner. We don't wanna be feeding them turkey or the bones. Please don't do the bones. Uh, any of the, the, the gravy, none of that. They don't need to have because we wanna avoid pancreatitis.